Hi, class, and welcome to Government 363, Inter-American Relations. I am Professor Moore, and I am super excited to be with you guys for the next nine weeks as we explore Latin American culture. So if you have found this video, good job. That means you've already figured out how to get into class. And so this is just a quick little intro video to welcome everybody to class and to, uh, point out a few things, make sure that we all get started on the right track. So um, once you get into class, whether you are a seasoned veteran to the college or whether this is your first time, ever even taking an online class, it's always a good idea to uh, go through each of the links at least once. So you get a general overview of the materials in class, an idea of where things are, and, uh, um, you know, so that will help you out in uh, later in class. And it can help you out with your other classes too. So sorry, my dogs are getting a little rowdy in the background. I've got them locked in the house so they don't harass the other animals. They're harassing me. So best practice is to always go to that start here button and just uh, start there for first, walk yourself through everything. Now in doing that guys, don't get yourself overwhelmed looking at all the work has, that has to be done. You know, it's a nine week class. It may seem overwhelming when you look at it all as, as a whole, but you know, we break it down into weeks and uh, always just take one task, one step at a time. I am here for anything that you would need. Please do not hesitate to reach out to me. This class is our safe space for learning and growing together. And uh, I know that we are gonna have a great time learning about Latin American cultures. I definitely enjoy this, this class. We get to look a lot into history and a lot into anthropology and archeology. span And since uh, my education started out in those fields, you know, I'm, I'm definitely always interested and uh, those types of things. And uh, some of the Latin American uh, prehistoric cultures are probably some of the coolest, in my opinion, that uh, ever did exist. Even, you know, the Egyptians were really cool. And I would say that some of the guys that were uh, over here in South America, or excuse me, down in South America, you know, were, were a lot cooler than them. So welcome to class, guys. Like I said, reach out if you need anything and uh yeah i will see you in our introductions this week don't forget uh each week we do have discussions there are always two discussions each week so it's important that you get in there with the proper amount of posts for those discussions and make sure that you are always including those APA elements. Good rule of thumb is to use at least one citation per paragraph. If you look at like the discussion prompts that I put up, you look at like uh, um, the announcements. Oh, I'll tell you about the announcements and then I'll, I'll be in through this video. Look at uh, the discussion posts I put up, look at the uh, lecture or uh, the weekly guidances that I put up in the announcements and kind of just uh, note the way that I include those APA elements. And you'll see that I have name and date at the end of every paragraph. And then, you know, I've got that reference page slash list at the end there where I have that full source information. So, you know, that's pretty, that is the most basic, basic way to do APA and make your instructors happy. So if you ever need any help with formatting anything in APA, make sure that you reach out to me. I'm more than happy to help set that up. You need help finding resources in the library, reach out to me. I'm more than happy to help you, uh, you know, do some research. And then last, the announcement. So as I've already mentioned, and the announcements is where I will put a weekly guidances. I'll put our lectures. You found this welcome video in the announcements. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, post uh, when grades are due, you know, post reminders about assignments. So it's important that you check those announcements at least 
two days a week. And then even with class, it's important, you know, try to be in those discussions at least two days a week and try not to wait until Sunday to get in your participation because and the discussions make up a big part of the class. And if you wait till the last minute to get in and interact with your peers, you're going to lose valuable information that you'll be able to um, use for other assignments and, and possibly for your final projects and things like that. And, you know, that's where we really get our community going and we really get to share our ideas and uh, uh, thoughts on these subject matters. And like I said, it's where we get that community. It's where we create that safe, safe space to learn and grow together. So, all right, guys, welcome to class. Reach out for anything. Thanks. Bye.